A Republican National Convention like no other, kicking off under the shadow of the attempted assassination of former President Trump and the spotlight of the political world. All of its 40 votes for President Donald J. Trump. The roll call of states officially naming Donald J. Trump as the Republican nominee for president. And in a highly anticipated move, announcing his running mate, Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio. The 39-year-old first-term senator rose to prominence with his 2016 memoir, Hillbilly Elegy, focused on rural poverty. The one-time Trump critic, now a fierce ally. The celebratory traditions in Milwaukee coming just two days after the raw horror of a nationally witnessed assassination attempt in Pennsylvania. Supporters sending prayers from Milwaukee. It may have made us more resolved. Energized Republicans further buoyed by a federal judge in Florida dismissing the classified documents case against the former president. The Trump appointed judge not ruling on the merits of the case, but citing technical grounds the Justice Department is expected to appeal while it's focused now on the attempted assassination. The FBI investigating how the 20 year old shooter was able to climb onto a roof 150 yards from former President Trump and fire multiple shots hitting him in the ear. Jason Isha was there. Thousands of people started running, sprinting, screaming, crying. He and his wife now hoping heated political rhetoric will tone down. We want to see it on our side too. We want to see it on everybody's side. In an Oval Office address, President Biden called on Americans to reject political violence and unite, a message former President Trump is expected to drive home during this week's convention. In Milwaukee, Alice Barr, NBC News. Former President Trump is set to formally accept his nomination here at the RNC on Thursday, and he is reportedly rewriting that speech to focus more on a message of unity. In Milwaukee, Alice Barr, NBC News.